Hey guys, Dragon Ball here again with another movie. This is episode 3 in this adventure of a new beginning. Basically, so far what we've done is building off or starting off um, when I tamed the Morello tops and we had our little thatch building. After that we went to that mountain over yonder there and we built our trap where we tamed our Argentavis and which is still there waiting for me patiently i then came down here looking for a prime area for me to build not too far away from that mountain over there where there's valuable resources that we'll get into later and also not too close to any of the real danger areas where the dragons are by the blue or more of the red obelisk however i have situ situated myself close to what they would call the T-Rex triangle or so. A lot of T-Rex come around here and it has benefited me very well so far. T-Rex come around, I go down to the bottom, I use my bow and my arrows and I kill a T-Rex because they cannot get up at me. Maybe if I get another gap just now and one comes along, I will show you how it's done. Inside those T-Rex, there are valuable things. I've got myself a metal pickaxe as well as a metal axe as well out of that. Nowhere along the line have I studied this, not even in the engrams, so I don't have to waste my engrams on it, although I will have to build a smithy a little bit later on to where I can repair these tools. Okay, why do I think this area is a good area to build? Well, in the front over here is a nice drop off, I don't have to worry about any animals coming up from there, as well as I can build out over this and build myself a lovely view later on in the game back this way we've got the desert and earlier on right in the beginning I was saying we need the desert for wind for power there's someone's power generator over there or windmill you build them in the desert where there's a hundred percent wind you push H if I push H here I'm only on 20 percent wind area spending the resources to get one of those here no, no good so we will put it <laughs> well something came over my head there we'll put it on the other side in the desert where we get a hundred right so my general setup here i put two wooden foundations in here i'll scare that a rex or something like that in a big fight might break down my thatch and then my beds disappear doubled up my bed see nice little double bed basically i placed one bed and the other one beside it almost into it and that's that's for a, for the reason i explained on the previous video if i die i don't have to wait for a cool down period i can respawn again my mortar and pestles both of them here you can see i've been hard at work collecting and keeping our um, our cactus sap as well as putting in the sand that we've been collecting Remember I was saying, don't throw the stuff away. It is going to be necessary. Keep collecting it, keep collecting it. And then obviously as you carry on, carry on make the things that you're going to need. Sand, very heavy. Wood, very heavy. Um, the sap is not too heavy. However, the product once being made is very light. As we can see, the clay is only five for a hundred. This side over here, been keeping all the meat, been throwing our meat in, splitting it. We've got a lot of meat, decayed meat in here. I will have to go and do a narco berry run just to make narcotics. In this cupboard over here, I've got the stone and the sand, the heavy stuff, so I can just transport it straight across into here, as well as putting the products I'm making here into that box. The box next to it, I've got my wood. Very important. Wood is going to be sorely needed, as well as the thatch. So I've got thatch, wood, and the rock and the building stuff over there. See how I've placed the cupboards? All I need to do is place a wall behind there, around there, and I've minimized the space needed. In here is my addo building. Nothing in here, just for me to sit and weather out the bad weather, as you could call it. And this will be where I'm going to build my base. So, what am I saying? Well, I want to build a small addo base. That will be the core, the inside of my base, where I'll be doing most of my work and I can be kind of protected against the elements. On the outside of that is where I'll build my stone walls. Stone walls stand up better against the corners 
and all the other monsters except the rock monsters rock monsters go go through those walls like butter you do get real idiots on the game as well that will go from server to server and uh, they would kite rock golems into people's bases and destroy people's bases just because they are idiots well i'm going to get going and once i've set up the foundations and put the foundations out the layout because that's going to be a little bit boring showing you that and for you to watch that i'll get back to you and uh, when i go like right guys this has been a hell of a lot of work um, marilla tops has been up and down we've been picking a lot of sap using the whip quite a lot had to go and get a lot more silk by bowling moths and using them so that i could keep fixing my whip what else was difficult oh yes i had to go and get metal so morella tops and myself had to run very far uh, i prefer going to the green obelisk it was a little bit safer there and we got ourselves some some metal there did a couple of trips to get quite a bit in because i didn't want to have to repeat yes so we did a foundation you'll see the foundation is quite long in its one section relatively short in the one and here comes a sandstorm that was very nice um, obviously lost my Jaboa again I, <laughs> I always do so the reason why I like making it long in the one section and shorter in the one is because over here I'm going to stack my cupboards so everything I need is going to be put in the cupboards over here the workstations the workbenches everything I need to work with are going to run around this section this long section over here and then back over here I'll have cupboards again so it's kind of like a horseshoe I suppose so you'd run in here you'd know your stuff on the left they'll be labeled your stuff on the right will be labeled and look at the protection already even though there's no roof on this yet you see how that how the adobe is protecting me against this sandstorm over here all right I'm getting a bit thirsty I'll have to go and hit some cactus soon right I had to obviously melt metal so I had to study the forge to build the smithy which I've now built the smithy I can now repair my metal my metal axe and the pickaxe although I haven't even studied that ingram yet I will do in a bit and then I'll move on to the other things so what I'm going to do is complete my house by putting a roof on but for information's sake you will see that I've got a ramp over here well this ramp will be for the second story I'll put the roof on this and then after that I will build another two stories of this or one story depending on how I feel and then I'll put another roof over that and the reason for that is workspace especially if you're in for the long run workspace within this is going to be very difficult you could also once you've got the adobe over the top the roof you could also build the second story with stone now as I said before stone is much more stronger than the adobe and it will probably give you a bit more protection against any wave and attack or anything from the top the bottom section over here well unfortunately this is not strong enough to defend against any golems that are brought or kited to your, your building and outside of this you would have to put at least a stone structure to protect the outer wall all uh, as well as the golems can break through the stone as well so thereafter it will become metal but that's for that's for another story where we discuss base defense remember so far this is only pvp a a um a p of uh, only pve sorry mm. it's not pvp defense it's not being a pvp discussion this is all pve pvp concentrate a little bit more on base defense right in the beginning and looking after your your cupboards having your cupboards open like this in a pvp situation well they'll just come along and they'll break your cupboards your beds and everything like that um, this is pve payer versus environment if it was pve pvp you'd find i would have had a building right around all of this and another internal building over here or door so that i could get through and it probably would have been a little bit bigger for a bit of movement space in there all right guys so that's basically the art of building 
your house, your structure, and um, carrying on from there. I'll have a look and see after this what else I might want to teach you because by the time you get to this advanced structure and if you look at my level I'm around about level 44 already you're pretty you're pretty knowing you pretty much know for yourself what to do where there's nothing really much I can teach you for beginners you know more a noob at this level anymore you are in your advanced stages and anything else you need from there on leave it in the comment section below where I'll be able to answer you either personally um, or we can refer you to other YouTube videos that will show what to do next but yeah as I was saying if there's anything else you need to know I'd like to learn from here on out please just drop them in the comment section below otherwise I'm going to be going back onto the advanced side where I'm playing on the other server on 705 and I'll make some tutorials over there for the more advanced. Thank you guys very much for watching these tutorials. And this is the end of basically the third tutorial. Thank you for watching. Cheers guys.